What's going on YouTube? Getting up a little early this morning to go go fishing at Winthrop Lake again. That's the place that I showed y'all that picture of that big old bass caught. Um, anyways, hopefully we can replicate that guy, catch a bass just like that, but yeah, just want to get out here early on this cloudy day. It's supposed to be, I think it's like 48 degrees right now, and it's 9 o'clock, and uh, it's supposed to be a high of like 60 today. So it's definitely, it's warming up now. Uh, it's, it's, it's not springtime yet, but it's definitely getting warmer for it being February. But anyways, uh, sorry, trying to drive here. I just wanna show you, drinking some coffee this morning. Just wanna show you this Yeti, it's amazing at me. Dog on it. Little lab. Oh, she got me up for Valentine's Day. <clears throat> Which Valentine's Day was uh, two days ago. At the time of recording this, she also got me one other Yeti. I don't know if y'all seen those new ones with like the texture, almost like the gritty texture. Yeah, it's almost, almost feels like sandpaper. But it doesn't hurt to hold it. But it's pretty cool too. Anyways, uh, I think today I'm going to use one rod. I'm going to just keep in the water like I have been doing with worms. Live bait and then the other. I'm going to get my bait caster. Tinker around with it. I don't think I'm a Texas rig. I think I'm a I'm gonna try something else. Maybe spinnerbait or. Right now I got an Alabama rig on there. I don't know if you can see. It's kinda. Of, where's it at? Yeah, got like a little Alabama rig. Got three little shad on there. So, might even keep that on, but I figure I might lose that if I throw it in this pond from the bank. Probably not the best idea to throw it from the bank, but. We'll see. Um, also, once it starts getting springtime, y'all comment if y'all want to see me fish on that boat, on my little John boat. I don't think I'm going to go to Lake Wiley or go to these uh, these bigger lakes, but I've been researching. There's a few smaller lakes that aren't really considered ponds that have boat landings. I think it'd be cool to go to those places. That's where that boat would shine. Not in those big lakes. Like me and Jackson went to Lake Norman, and uh, you know, it was it was a mess. I don't know. I might even link that video in the description. That Lake Norman trip was uh, <laughs> something else. Taking on water is just sketchy. It's only a twelve foot John boat, so you know it. Just, it, it just can't take on those big lakes like a bass boat could or like a bigger John boat could. It just, uh, it just isn't built for that. But those smaller lakes that don't have much wake, not not as much traffic on them, I think would, would do great for that John boat. But I'm thinking about that. I'm just waiting for it to warm up a little bit. But maybe within the next month, I'll be able to get out there. Look right there, there's a ray of sunshine beaming through. I can see it on my face, the sunshine, but I hope it stays like that. Warm, warm it up. But I'm gonna continue driving, uh, and I'll see you there. Hopefully we catch up today, so.
also forgot to mention it shows <laughs> she embroidered dog dead but yeah pretty sweet I saw a dock over here I kind of want to go to. I wonder if it says no fishing on it. I don't know. If not, we'll go on this other side. I'm pretty sure you can fish the other side. Mandatory. What does that mean? It's got signs up, which is not a good sign. <laughs> Warning. Submerged electrical cables do not grapple. Do not grapple. What's that? Grapple. It doesn't say anything about fishing. But I don't know what. Do not grapple, what's that mean? Do not feed the geese, but nothing about fishing, okay. But, as for now. We'll, we'll try the Alabama, the little Alabama rig. That sounded weird. Probably gonna need to. I think I'm gonna do a switch to a swimmer, swimmer bait. What are y'all's opinions on right-handed versus left-handed bait casters? Cause uh, I am a left-hander. You know, I use my left hand on the spinning reel, but on the bait caster, I've always got right-handed. And I think I think I want to make the switch to left hand. I'm just not 100% convinced yet, but I feel like I have a little bit better control of the rod if my right hand's on the rod and my left hand's reeling, but y'all let me know what y'all think. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah. 
All right, well, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try the jig first. go try that dock if I can even get out on that dock fifty degrees nine thirty that means I got if I want two hours out here plenty of time to catch me a big one. lots of people moving I'm gonna go go this way first. If nothing, check back out that way. And then maybe try that dock again. I just want to keep moving around as much as I can, but ah, probably not that dog. Okay, looks like we can. Says something about no swimming. This does feel a little sketch, but we'll make it work. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we can do.
come on, let's keep going. Go to this dock right here, fish a little bit. Just wanted to try to hit as many angles of this pond as possible today. Uh, I'm spending about 15 minutes at each spot, 10 to 15 minutes. No bites, we move on. We'll see how well that works for me, but I like this place though, cause <laughs> it's got a it's got a bench I can put my stuff down on. Damn, this water has gone down. If I remember right, this water was higher. At least I think so. Keep it going, going, keep it going, 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 keep it going, going. I don't even know how to land a fish up here. I'm being honest with you. Chitty. Who is Chitty? Chitty. Chatty. I didn't say something about the rattle trap, but. Fuck it. So cool. Look at him. All right, let's switch it up again. Oh, shit. Was that a muskrat? A beaver? I hope that caught, caught it on camera. Oh shit, I think it's a beaver. I almost don't wanna cast. I don't want to catch a beaver. Or whatever that was. A muskrat. Nope. Let's just look and see what it is anyways. I know I can't fish off of here, so. Okay, well, looks like I'm walking. A little bit more than I wanted to, but that's all right. Please don't be a lot of water. Uh. Dang. 
am, bro. All right, I'll be able to skip that. Yeah. Sloth says goodbye. Well, guys, we got another another failed attempt at catching some fish this year. Seriously, this whole entire year, we've yet to catch a fish. Went fishing maybe what four times now this year, maybe five, something like that. And anyways, that's why I started playing the call of the wild and call of the angler. Just look like a damn homeless person. I need a haircut. <laughs> but anyways, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed me not catching anything. It was fun getting out there. I just, I just like getting out there, but still. I'm ready to catch something. Not too much longer. It'll be warm out and we'll actually be getting some bites, but... I, mean, I, know, I know winter fishing's slow, but... Ah! I mean, I've put 15, 20 hours into it without a bite. It's probably, I, I can only blame myself. I'm the one fishing, so I guess I'm doing something wrong. Y'all y'all let me know if there's something else I can do. Something I'm doing wrong, something I can change, anything like that. But I'll probably uh, make a few more call the wild call the angler videos i know i started playing this game called firewatch it's like an outdoorsy game um, so i'll start posting that content it's a cool game i like it i uh reason i started playing it is because i watched Pew pewdiepie play it back in the day when it first came out years ago years ago this is probably when i was in middle school the game's been out for a while but i know it's a it's a short game but it's so it's it's fun and interesting i honestly i forgot what happens so i'm playing the game almost like brand new but hopefully within the next couple weeks i'm gonna buy some stuff to pour some molds for some soft plastics it's just kind of expensive to get into it's not super expensive but just expensive enough to get the molds and uh, like the, the stuff for the plastics and stuff is not super expensive but i have to buy a whole new microwave and uh yeah just expensive but i'm excited to start on that too start getting into the actual bait making part of this you know what I mean it's I think it's interesting I think people will find it interesting and I want to get good at it get a feel for it I think it's something I'd, I'd enjoy but like I said I'll start off with the soft plastics uh, I'm not gonna buy any of those injectors yet I'll probably just buy open pour molds where I don't have to inject. I think that'll be the best way to do it. And you can get more creative with the the open pours from what I've seen. The the injectors you can only I mean you're limited to what you can do, especially if you just get the one injector. And you get the two injector that injects two different uh, color patterns in there, but I don't know. We're going to see. I'm, I'm interested to see how it's going to play out. And, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll probably end up, like I said, I'm going to do soft plastics first. Tinker around in that. Do a few videos on those. Then I'll probably try potentially uh, doing my own jigs. I think that would be really cool. I'm not sure how good or how hard that would be. And then after jigs, maybe 
uh, some crankbaits, painting, painting some crankbaits. But all this stuff gets pretty expensive, so it's interesting, but expensive. But it'll be worth it. It's, it's it'd be fun content for you guys. If I get good enough at it, potentially customize stuff for people. But I don't know if I, I don't know if I'll do that in the future. If this gets big enough, I will probably just have somebody else do it. Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know if y'all are interested to see that kind of stuff. But I know in the next, after this video is posted, probably in the next three, four days, I'll have some Call of the Wild or uh, the Firewatch game recorded for y'all and edited. So y'all stay tuned for that. But y'all keep fishing and, and uh, hope y'all have a great day. I'm about to go to work. So we'll see you later.